I guess I'm mandated in my position to ask you about running it back. Do you think you're going to get all the kids back, or or what are your, what's your sense as we're sitting here 72 hours after cutting down nets, Coach? Yeah, I think uh, I think that um, I think that there's going to be definitely the potential for a couple guys to uh, um, you know to move on with their career. I mean, they've they've climbed the top of the mountain. It's rare in the relationship between player and coach. You know where, where you both kind of uh, get what each other you know wants, right? Where they the players deliver you the championship, the team thing, and then they put themselves in the best possible position to to live their dreams. So it's like, I think uh, you know it'll be it'll be a thrill to see these guys that end up making the move, uh, you know, make that move. Um, and, and but we will be returning some some outstanding young players that you know, will potentially be high picks in next year's draft. Uh, we also bring in a recruiting class that is loaded. Um, this is by far the best class that uh, that we've brought in, and it's not even close. Um, and then I'd imagine that uh, we're not going to have to, uh, you know, if there's some help that we need out of the portal, I, I don't think that we're going to have to beg uh, <laughs> the same way that we have maybe in, in past cycles because UConn is back. UConn is back to putting guys in the NBA draft and, and hanging banners. Congratulations on that. Uh, last one for you. Let's drop names. Who'd you hear from? Who'd you get a text from? We're like, oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Did you get one of those? Well, yeah, I mean, uh, George Iskander. I mean, as a kid I grew up with in Jersey City. Okay. I hadn't seen him in, in oh, my, maybe like 35 years. But then he went to every one of my postseason games, like, I hadn't seen him since I was in high school. He just grew up in Jersey City in my neighborhood. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, all right, that's good juju. So I'm gonna put I'm gonna get him on a ticket list. So there's some like strange ones like that mm-hmm. where I got reconnected with people I haven't seen in years. Um uh, I don't know. Uh I think Coach K I still get like uh Okay. You know, Coach Coach K I'd say I still get a little even though he coached Bob, I mean that's like Sure. You still, when you hear from him, you're like, get out of tension. He's very, uh, <laughs> you know, he got a persona about him and, you know, he's got such grace and dignity, which I can't relate to uh, the way I act. You know, so I, I would say <laughs> that more, yeah, I don't know. That's cool. I haven't looked. I can be honest with you, I got 800 messages. Oh. And a lot of them I haven't I've gotten back. Are you to. serious? What was the number when you got back to your phone? What did it say on the green dot on it, your phone? It, it, it got app. to it got to the high nines. It wow. got to the high nines. And now, I would never let it crack crack a thousand, but I think I'm at like eight hundred messages right Fantastic. now. So I've got like I got work to do. <laughs> Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free. 